Hey everybody, Jeff Arsent here. Well, we're on to episode 13 now for DuckTales. McMystery at McDuck McManor? Double check that name. Yeah, McMystery at McDuck McManor. Okay. Uh. I don't know, let's dive on in and see what we got here. I swear, if we get more Scottish thingamajigs going around here, oh, please, not the bow truckle. <laughs> let's dive on in and see what we got. Okay, that's a bit of a weird startup, but okay. <laughs> What's all this? Hey guys, every year I brush up on my survivor skills on a secret island. <coughs> I mean, a, a, a regular island where young warriors definitely don't combat the forces of nature and each other. But you, you know, it, it's girl stuff. <laughs> okay. Why is everyone running off? Oh, you will figure it out sooner or later. Today is Mr. McDuck's birthday. Mr. Birthday? Okay, people, we are in crisis party planning mode. Louis, start a guest list. Do I absolutely not? Yep. Mr. McDuck has a strict no birthday party rule. He hates the reminder that he's literally the oldest person he knows. <laughs> Our most epic relative deserves the most epic party ever. Oh, I don't know. He hasn't had a good one since before his old butler Duckworth died. Like this stuffy old guy could beat the party I threw for the junior woodchuck party planning committee. It was both work and play. Time. Don't say I didn't warn you. If I don't come back, tell my story. Nah, he's gonna love it. Sorry, I'm he just now. Time to shine. Shut up. I'm just now imagining Webigail hey, as a green arrow. The erection. I'm a host of myself. Time to celebrate with peace and quiet. <laughs> ah, a home invasion. Oh, Dude, I got fire on it. <laughs> Surprise! What in the? What in the sudden? Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. Ducktales. Every day they're out there making ducktales. Tales of daring. Tales. Woo! The danger right behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. Let's do this. Bam to some duck tales. Woo! -hoo. Every day they're out there making duck tales. Woo! -hoo. There's a daring hero. Good luck coming. Tales no cocktail. Tales no duck tales. Woo! -hoo. I'm presuming that XDNY is for New York. So, next uh, is Gangly from 6 to 6.05. Bathroom break at 6.06, .06, but keep it under a minute because at 6.07, we're scheduled to have fun. Aha, okay. What the blazes was that? Oh, just the one and only DJ Dap Duck. Dewey's only answering to his DJ name tonight. Just go with it. Why are there a bunch of masked windows in my house? Louie put together a guest list of Duckburg's most powerful and elite. It's about quality, not quantity. Everyone here is kind of a big deal. You know, we had to make it a costume party to throw out the paparazzi. Get in the spirit! <laughs> We're not. That's cool. Come on. Hop aboard the Happy Birthday Express. On board for a jumbo work search about you. Pass. Next up, musical chairs. Oh, we can sit inside this. Ugh. Balloon pop relay coming into the station. Station's closed. Oof. Staff meeting. I don't think Scrooge wants a party. That's crazy. There have been a few bumps, but he'll come around. Louie, no schmoozing, just so punch. Dewey. Dewey. DJ Daft Duck. Here's a list of pre-approved songs with a 90% enjoyment rating. Play these. 
Listen, I know planning is your thing, but you're creeping our style. You gotta relax and just ride the party wave. A party is a celebration of a life. Bringing people together to let the guests of honor know how much they're loved. Uncle Scrooge has done so much for us. This is our chance to do something for him. By forcing him to have fun at a party that he doesn't want to be at? I yeah. Don't understand. Basically. Oh, there's the birthday boy. I've got just the thing to help get you into the party mood. Cue lights. Missed opportunity. Of course. Grand illusionist. Master of the arcane. Nick Nocturne. Spelled with two Ks. Because I made the C's. Disappear. One thing I hate more than birthday parties, that's birthday party magicians. Ugh. Well, good thing he's an illusionist, then. Choose your destiny. A child's in his pocket next to a dove. <sighs> You're not helping. You, non believer, come forth to experience real magic. Behold! The Abyss Arts. Nope. But Uncle Scrooge, you have to! For the party. Oh. <laughs> Who knows what mysteries wait inside? To be clear, you want me to hide inside this trap door in here? <laughs> Embrace the pull of the darkness. I call upon the spirits. The party has just begun. Oh, my beautiful, beautiful Bobbox! Shay, what a trick! Oh no, no, no! Maybe I can fix it. I don't think that was the trick. Yeah. Hang on, our dear old Uncle Scrooge would never go anywhere without his precious wallet. <gasps> Scrooge isn't just gone, he's gone missing! <laughs> Take that thing off, our uncle has been captured! Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected, we're locked in! That means the kidnapper is still in this very room. Clear the party schedule. Things just got interesting. <laughs> Hubert, a word? What are you doing? This isn't the time for some dumb party game. You're right. It's time for the ultimate party game. Uh, a uh, room mystery party. Oh, the stakes couldn't be higher. Uncle Scrooge is like the party. Life. Wait, what did you say? We gotta solve the mystery and find Scrooge so he can experience the true joy of a flawless birthday party. And, you know, not possibly die? Yes, of course, and that. But if we succeed and have a good time doing it, Scrooge may have experienced the most amazing party of all time. Shouldn't we call somebody? But who can you call when everyone is a suspect? Come on, boys, the party game is afoot! <sighs> I hate this already. <laughs> oh, yeah! You can't get that helmet off, can you? Oh, no! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are no longer guests. You are now suspects in the disappearance of Scrooge McDuck. How fitting, since our prime suspect is a master of making things disappear. Nick Nocturne? Hmm? You accuse me? <laughs> I'm merely a messenger of the dark arts. Who had the motive? Scrooge was making fun of you. And the means. That dumb box thingy? Nick Nocturne is a professional. I can handle a little heckling. Is that so? Couldn't have it as a birthday card, huh? Ooh, nice hood, hood guy. Hey, why don't you make like anyone's interest in you and disappear? Is this your card? 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 <laughs> a beagle boy! And where there's a beagle boy, there must be more! Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, I kind of figured that. My beagle! <laughs> I always gotta do everything myself. What in the sudden? I can't believe I'm stuck in here with you, morons. That's right, fools. Nick Nocturne was really me, Black Art Beagle. 
This was all part of our sinister plan. Together, we would pull off the greatest illusion of all. Shut it, Blackheart. I would bewilder you mere mortals with my mystical powers. Shut it, Black Art. But it would all be a distraction. Stop explaining the plan, Black Art. <laughs> of course. <laughs> While he made our uncle disappear, Ma would sneak away to rob Scrooge. But rob him of what, you ask? He didn't ask. The deed to John Burke. Uncle Scrooge owns the town? Technically, he owns the land and leases it to the town for a tiny profit. Oh, ha! Best. He's a thief. Scrooge conned the date away from my poor defenseless grandpappy Beagle, who had the good sense to steal it away from the dumb people of Duckburg first. My Beagle, I accuse you of abducting Scrooge McDuck and breaking and entering. Breaking and entering? You invited her. You invited to this party. You invited my Beagle? What? She's a powerful, totally legit businesswoman. She held us hostage two months ago. You gave me one hour to put together a guest list. Why would I abduct Scrooge? He's more trouble than he's worth. I was counting on black arts for a distraction. But of course he missed that up. So when the lights went out, I went to grab the deed while you Dean bats weren't looking. Unfortunately, someone locked the stinking doors. I didn't think this dummy would actually make Scrooge disappear. I'm not a dummy. I'm the master of the art. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes! The blackout! The chandelier mysteriously went out! But, if we follow the power supply for the chandelier too... A stupid painting. Can I go now? Stupid painting? Or, elaborate security system? <laughs> Top that, former best party planner. Boy, howdy. That's a DT-87. Put this security system out there. It would take some kind of tech genius to hack it and turn off the lights. Someone has been live posting about the party. From inside the room? Mark Biggs! What up, Leo? Uh huh. Yo, Mama, up top! What in the. Who is this? You were dying to take Scrooge down! Okay, listen. Hat. I'm not threatened by Scrooge's money. Please, Cash is dead. The new currency is Buzz. So when I got the invitation to this party, you invited him too. One hour to prepare. One. I saw yeah. that shot. I wasn't trying to hack the lights, dummy. I wanted to hack the security cameras to erase all evidence of Scrooge's disappearance. Erase? Uh, no, no. Uh, I was looking for footage like this. <laughs> <laughs> All over the interwebs. Oh, Scrooge will look dumb. Well, my account gets a dumb amount of views. Kaboom, pizza! <laughs> <laughs> Forgot that one was locked. <laughs> hey, nobody filmed that, did they? No, seriously. How is this guy one of Scrooge's nemesis? Well, yeah. Guys, the blackout, and the flash was from Geeks' Sophie. Let me see that picture again. Enhance. Enhance. There we go. Behold, my abyss box. May it rest in pieces. Someone opened it the moment before Scrooge disappeared. Someone who hates Scrooge more than anyone. Let's hard clown gold. Hey, my rich brother from another mother. <laughs> How did you know it was me? It's always you. And it always will be. <laughs> yeah, and of course he came dressed up as an emperor. Not helping, dude. So you took Scrooge. Took Scrooge? No, I was trying to kill Scrooge. It's like the whole thing. And yeah. I, you're terrible at your thing. If he were ever going to do it, he'd have to do it while Bakley's gone. Ugh, I hate that woman. Me too. She's the absolute worst. You know who I miss? Jack Ah, oh, he threw the best parties. Oh, that man was an artist. He never would have let us in here. Nemesis memories. Stop bonding. This is a crime scene. Anyway, when I received a literal invitation to kill Scrooge, you know what? <laughs> you make the guest list. Yeah. The real question was how to dispose of dear old McDuck. Nope. Yep. Aww. That's adorable. And deadly. 
nick of time, shoved a spare bomb in a gift box and ran over. Ah! Oh, classic Glumgold. So when the lights went out, you rushed to give Scrooge the gift so you wouldn't miss your chance. But he had already disappeared. Cool, cool, cool. But so then where's the exploding present? Right there. Not my best work. No, not your best work. <laughs> of course. It's all coming together. No, it's not. Meeting. You got nothing, do you? I got nothing. Okay, it pains me to say this, but maybe we should call Beakley for help. Oh, oh. Doing the right thing stings. No, the plan is I solve the mystery and rescue Scrooge. He'll love the party and he'll be forced to admit I did a better job than Duckworth. And that'll let us throw him parties all the time. You want to do this all the time? That's not! I totally know who did it. Uh, yes! Invited guests, assorted arch enemies. Who is guilty of Scrooge McDuck's birthday disappearance? Ironically, it was the one with no plan whatsoever. The one who took advantage of the chaos to take Scrooge now. Then decide how to kill him later. That's right. It was Winter Congo! Wait, what? You thought you got away with it. But you didn't count on the world's greatest party planner slash detective. Take that, Duckworth! Uh... Try again. Blast, blast, blast the bagpipes. <laughs> that means it was Mark Peaks! What's up? Zip! <laughs> and then, my ah. Oh, come on! That's weird! There's literally no one else it could be! If it wasn't them, then who? Cool, cool, so time to give up on this disaster of a party and call Bakley! Chip, chip, cheerio! Running out of sound effects? Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course you two want to give up. You've been conspiring against my amazing party from the start. Inviting villains, being bad at DJ. Yeah, I said it. I wouldn't be surprised if you took Uncle Scrooge to make me look bad. We worked our butts off to help you plan this party and you complained. Then we went along with this weird mystery party idea, which went nowhere. And worst of all, you made me the responsible one! Well, you can just... Blackhearts! Hello! Blackhearts! It was Blackhearts Beagle and... A demon! Knew it the whole time. Great mystery solved! Now what? I don't know. Once you solve the mystery, the party should be over. This party's just getting started. I plotted this whole thing to prove to Mom that all those magic classes were not a waste of time. You hear me? Oh, I summoned a demon to get rid of her enemies. And then her. And now I'll finally get rid of you. Spirit, I command thee to get them! I said get them! <laughs> oh no, I'm not as good as I thought I would! No! This is why you do not summon demons! Also, you'll be dead! Hello! Ah, uh, really? Oh! Listen to Uncle Scrooge when he said, Spit on me, spots, I hate parties! Right now, you have to stop talking. I was trying to throw the best party, but wound up with the worst party. Or was it the best party for someone who hates parties? That's it! Well, I know where Scrooge is! Stop yelling! <laughs> run, dude! Run! <laughs> You're just in time for the best part. 
<laughs> I returned to the corporeal world to find the mansion full of Mr. McDuck's enemies, and even worse, hosting them at a sub-par party. Hey! So I did what any butler with his coattails would alleviate the situation. <laughs> so really, this was you? I do have a flair for the dramatic. Yeah. When the lights went out, you took Scrooge to protect him from them. And me. I'm sorry, Uncle Scrooge. This was supposed to be a party for you, but I made it about me. Please accept my resignation as world's greatest party planner slash detective. Ah, oh, rubbish. This has been my best off the ever. Those villains will think twice about trying to say fit to McDuck Manor again. <laughs> and you brought back my favorite butler from beyond the grave, no less. <laughs> The two of you really threw a corker of a party. Hang on, if you like the party, why did Dunbar scare us all half to death? Ah, you never, never in any real danger. That was clearly a fake ghost axe. Yes, clearly. Mm, of course. May this be a lesson. I never want another party. But what about parties for holidays like Christmas, Hanukkah, or the often overlooked Arbor Day? And Mr. McDuck just said, No party. <laughs> I'll just buy a card. That'll do. Hey, Dumbly. Ah! Mrs. Beakley, how nice of you to finally return after abandoning your post. Thankfully, I was here to pick up your slack. Tell me, do you typically keep the house this shabby? I prefer to oh. be dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Uh, and Duckworth and David. All right, okay. So <laughs> we have the return of Duckworth. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if they were ever going to make a reference to him. I mean, I remember him vaguely from the original cartoon, so I was kind of wondering if they'd ever do a thing with him here. <laughs> and now he's back. Whether or not he'll be a recurring appearance is another question entirely. Uh. But yeah, this is why you do not play with the dead. You never know what you're going to bring up. Ah, uh, well. Jaffa Archfiend, out. <laughs> 